commission, a 10-lane competition pool, a 10-lane warm-up pool, which is just right here. And also we have a multi-purpose hall, which can take about 1,000 uh, uh, spectators, which that we are going to use for basketball, volleyball, handball, uh, uh, badminton, and other indoor games. Mm. We have five tennis courts, five of them, one of them covered with spectator stand, 1,000 seater with VVIP seat. Mm. We have multi-purpose dome. And this multi-purpose dome also thousand seater. Aside that, we have built a football pitch, a football pitch which is just behind the aquatic center, with a track, a running track, and the running track is also installed by Mondo. Mm. Mondo is the world number one track uh, installer by the world uh, athletic body. So we are ready. And when you go to University of Ghana, we have the University of Ghana Sports Stadium upgraded, uh, uh, upgraded, and it's also completed. We've done a warm-up track and a warm-up field which is just five meters away from the main bowl and it is a requirement for these uh, olympic games aside this we have the rabbi stadium the rabbi stadium is also built it's one of the biggest in west africa the rabbi stadium is also at the university of ghana we have the the cricket oval also being done at the Rick cricket stadium aside that we have hockey the hockey uh, pitch too is being worked on so ghana is ready the only thing i want to appeal to Ghanaians to support the ministry, support the government, and support the LOC, the local organizing committee, to organize the games. I have here Beatrice, which is who, who is the head of the uh, uh, medical and anti-doping. Yeah. All the anti-doping issues have been resolved. Uh, she, she, she's working around the clock to ensure that everything is put in place because clean sports is now one of the topical issues when you are organizing such a big mega sporting event. Event they want everybody, all the athletes, to be very very conscious of. Uh, 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 taking substance before uh, competing and they will be making sure that every athlete that is going to be here the issues of doping issues and clean sports is something that is going to be done oh, one, one more question before before you go we know that a lot of money and effort has been pumped into this the benefits cannot only be limited to sports what other benefit do you think the country stands to derive hosting these games it's going to create a lot of jobs and you can see that it is right away from the construction stage we have engaged over 2,000 staff here uh, people doing labor work artisans and apart from the security and going forward a lot of jobs are going to be created aside that we are going to use this facility to also drive traffic it's not just for this competition beyond the competition we'll be organizing international championship for example the uh, continent can host the international swimming championship here in ghana because this facility is going to be certified by the world aquatic body and once it's certified the any championship can be held here also apart from that even the world stage world swimming championship can also be uh, held here then we have other sporting discipline all the federation can now have their championship here national championship we are using this infrastructure massive infrastructure that his excellency have done across the country to launch a national sports festival where we are going to develop talent from the grassroots to the regional district level to the regional level and national level we are shifting our focus from sports promotion to sports development like that. so that we can Red develop Bull more Bull talent Bull more talent to compete Bull for our country to, and also to carve yeah, career Bull sports Bull is now Bull a Bull career Bull with to carve career Bull for Bull themselves Bull i like that let me get madame beatrice also in there Please, 